Are you finding that your margins are compressed right now because you're having trouble getting the kind of prices that you'd like to get for your products or services? Well, you're not alone. There's a lot of margin pressure today caused by lots of different reasons. In many cases, companies are just looking for more ways to cut their costs by cutting prices to increase their own margins, to increase their own profits, their own earnings. Then we have a situation coming off the recession where many companies cut their prices during the recession. And now after the recession, their customers have become comfortable with those prices. Now they're finding it hard to raise them again. And then we have a lot of products and services out there that customers are treating as commodities. Even the companies who are selling these products and services call them commodities, further reinforcing this image that they're really all the same and it's all just a matter of price. So we have a lot of price and margin pressure out there right now. Now think for a moment about what happened in 2011. There were a lot of companies in 2011 that actually produced double-digit sales increases. Really amazing the number of companies I found in all kinds of industries that had phenomenal increases in sales versus 2010. And yet, when we look at those companies, many of them achieved those double-digit increases by cutting their prices substantially. And now they're having trouble getting back to the prices they were at. So for a lot of different reasons, we're having a lot of price pressure out there, a lot of margin pressure out there. What causes all this margin pressure? It starts with the simple concept of the customer's perceptions of value. Customers have a perception of value based upon all the information and experience they have up until that very moment in time. And it appears that in companies who are selling products and services, and in their customers, there is a lot of hidden value. Hidden value is value that if the customer was aware of it, it would increase their perceptions of value. And if it increases their perceptions of value, it would justify their paying a higher price. But with all of this hidden value that exists both inside of a customer and the companies that they work for, and inside of the selling company, this hidden value prevents prices from being accepted, prevents margins from going up, prevents customers from justifying a purchase at a more profitable price. Right now, I would estimate that over 80% of companies selling products and services have hidden value inside themselves, their market, and their customers. And that hidden value could help them better justify a purchase decision against a competitor and justify that purchase at a higher price. So what you need to do today is get out there and investigate the hidden value. Find the hidden value because when you do, you're going to be able to sell more and sell it at a higher price.